Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the touch panel on the iPhone X, uh, XS, XS Max OLED screens without damaging the OLED flex uh, using heat and wire, not freezer. So here I have this screen with the original TP on still, and it has sort of little pits in it which are not going to be hidden by Loco, so it needs to be a TP replacement. So, screen's all good. So I do this slightly different to other people I've spoken to about this. Some people, they remove the flex on the back there, they sort of bend that outwards, and then they enter the wire at the bottom, um, and they go from, from the bottom up to the top. I like to do it from the top down. So put it face up. Um, there's no magical answer for how to explain this bit, but the copper border that you've got, you aim to get the wire just underneath that, and you know you're in the right layer when you see it just under the TP, just like that. If it's sort of a dark black colour, it means you've gone under the polarizer. That's not good. So I start that corner like that. the other corner like that um, so this is being sucked from the back facing upwards and with that all of the pressure is going on the black foil there I know some people put the plastic over the top of it but still going side to side with the uh, touch panel taking the touch panel off the sucking it from the back on that sticker even with a plastic stick over it is still not as good as doing it face down so now I'm going to swap the mat out with a flat mat There we go. Now I need to get the wire into the right layer again, which I can do by eye. Now I'm going to bring that, but I'm not going to bring it all the way across because with the notch, it can get caught and sort of snag. So I'm just going side to side. I'm now going to stop. If you look where the wire is, I'm going to stop and I'm going to pull the wire out. Then I'm going to come in from the other side. go and I'm gonna feed the wire on the right hand side so it, it fell into the notch which has already been cleared and open and then it's just a case of same as if you were taking glass off just going side to side now the polarizer, polarizer layer that's underneath the touch panel that's quite sturdy it's hard to mark that to the point where you'll see it after the new digitizer and um, glass on. Okay, so now I'm near the bottom. If you look where that wire is, I'm gonna hold it here and I'm going to, I'm gonna pull this with my right hand in one direction and I'm gonna pull it, pulling it down so it's not going into the OLED flex. I'm gonna use the wire to cut through the touch panel. So slowly, there's one and I'm pulling it down. I'm not doing it level. I'm not doing it up because it will damage the OLED flex. I'm pulling it down. In one direction here, coming in again. Done. Alright. So, some this, the touch panel layer here still quite sticky so sometimes if you catch it while it's hot you can peel it other times it gets stuck don't force it and fight with it too much there so that's now the touch panel off while the screen is warm while it's still warm I'm gonna back there and then I like to with this bit Use a spinning rod. Don't use the end of the spinning rod. Always use the middle of it. The end will scratch the polarizer and it will be visible. Being careful with the flex at the bottom.
like to deflex at the bottom, don't come flat down. I like to do it at an angle so that it doesn't fight with the actual LED flex. Okay, there we go. Now the last final clean on that will be with isopropyl or acetone, but that's really quite easy to get cleaned up and laminated now. I'll just test it again to show you it working. Okay.